We are at the BAE system stall here in Jeff Expo 2020 in Lucknow. And I have with me a very fine and very new gun system. We thought must uh, be shown to our viewers. It's the CD40 gun system, which can be used from the land surface also as also from platform based in sea. It is being developed at the moment. More about the equipment from the man who really knows about it. Maybe. Okay, so this is the CT40 system. It's a uh, cased telescope system, so it uses a very unique type of uh, munition uh, where the munition itself actually telescopes out of the casing itself. So, very compact uh, system, full 40 millimeter caliber. Now, as well as the munition being very unique, the gun system is very unique as well. What we have here is something called an introductor. So, generally, we would have a aut automated handling system feeding the munition into the in, uh, into the, into here this then pushes into a rotating chamber which the munition rotates 90 degrees it fires it will then rotate continue to rotate 90 degrees and then the next munition will then push it out of the other side so the chamber is rotating constantly 200 rounds per minute um, now this system is very compact because of the rotating chamber this allows the system to be very light as well. Uh, the main takeaway is the swept volume. So as the gun elevates, the back of the gun does not penetrate the vehicle. Um, so this allows us to have very high degrees of elevation. As well, this reduces the weight. We can have things like unmanned uh, turrets. Um, so this means we can have smaller turrets. Uh, they're lighter turrets. So generally you have you can either have firepower, mobility, or uh, more armor. This system here allows us to have um, more firepower, being a 40 millimeter weapon system. It's a similar size to a 25 millimeter Bushmaster, so that it's a real weight reduction. That allows us to um, distribute that weight either in mobility or in armor, or both, a combination of both. The CT40 uh, weapon system has a suite of uh, munitions starting with the uh, armor piercing round this is a saboed round firing at 1500 meters per second we can penetrate up to 140 millimeters of rha steel at 1.5 kilometers which is uh, very impressive if, if you look at uh, other systems um, we have a point detonating uh, full caliber uh, munition this uh, strikes and on impact uh, has an NHE charge. This is a one kilogram um, projectile, so the kinetic energy at, uh, and terminal effect is, is very is very big. With an HE round, um, obviously you have uh, the the effect of the HE plus an after effect, let's say behind a wall. This here is an airburst round, so it's a programmed fuse. We can um, um, uh, tell. The munition when to uh, when to ignite over a target, taking out things like uh, um, uh, troops, or in conjunction with this one, we can make a hole in a wall and then fire one of these into into the uh, into the room to take out a bigger room. This here is our um, what we call a kinetic airburst round. So this is used for uh, anti-air capability. So you would probably fire a salvo of say five rounds that would then take out anything from a fast moving missile, a helicopter or, um, or a drone of some kind. Now, moving on, we have the blue training ground. Uh, this is just an inert round, but as well, it's a one kilogram round, very high uh, kinetic uh, force behind it. Moving along to the next round again, this is a UK MOD and a French MO, uh, DGA um, requirement. This is a reduced range munition which is ballistically matched to all the other munitions to 1500 meters. After 1500 meters, it will then drop out the, 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 the air. This is because of the, the uh, training ranges in France and the UK are not very long, so we have to have this type of requirement. Again, the UK MOD thought, well, the uh, training round here has a very high kinetic force, a one kilogram round. They said, you know, this can be used uh, as a, what we call a war shot. So we've painted it black and it's an inert, inert round which can still uh, cause a lot of damage uh, up, till, uh, up to uh, three or four kilometers.
And let's uh, just give us an idea about how does it track, how does it hit the target, how does it lock on to the target. It's from a radar system perhaps connected to it, from a command control system. How does it go about? Well, we CTAI are a joint venture company of BA Systems and Next Systems. We are turret agnostic, so really this, this type of information would come from the turret integrator. We have a weapon system which is very precise, has a um, reliability, is, has a very high reliability. The maintenance of this type of system is very, very low. Uh, for example, oiling of this system you would probably do once every six months. It's very, very low indeed. So when it, when it comes to targeting information, this would come from a turret integrator that we are happy to work with. Okay. Thank you so much. I think uh, that was a very fine explanation of your activity. Okay. Thank you very much.